Hello friends, first of all I will introduce myself. My name is Nikhil. Today's date is 19th of October 2022. And today's topic is CSS Cascading Style Sheets. It is used to apply the strip sheets to web pages. Cascading Style Sheets are found in the to CSS. It is used to make a representative, but the reason why using is to simplify the process of making the web pages and it's presentable it shows the uh, it shows you to apply the styles to on web pages uh, more importantly it enables you to independently of an html uh, of each web pages next we will see the why we learn css uh, styling is an essential property of an website so it is an uh, important increase the standard of an overall uh, to, to website it is easier to use than HTML. The website can be made uh, without CSS, but it is dull and savvy. It is, uh, the visitor will uh, not like it, and web development and learning CSS is mandatory. Next, we will see. Next, we will see the uh, basics format, and then basic. There are three types of CSS, which are inline, internal, internal embedded, and external inline. Inline CSS contains the property of in body section attached with the element and internal and embedded is the CSS. The CSS rule set should be within the HTML, uh, within the HTML file in the head section. Uh, the CSS embedded within the HTML file. External CSS contains the separate attributes. Then we will see next uh, uh, examples uh, and then what does the CSS mean? Tags for formatting uh, web pages were never intended in HTML. HTML are well for established page content. The addition of the tags is font and color attributes to HTML created a big problem. So CSS is created by the developers to create the creation of the large websites where where the fonts and color formation is um, very well. Easy and each page become a time frame consuming cost uh, costly procedure. CSS was established in uh, CSS is eliminated the HTML page style formatting. How CSS is different from HTML? Then we will see. HTML is used to define a structure of web pages, whereas CSS is used to define a web pages and by using the different styling features. HTML consists of tags inside which text is enclosed and CSS it consists of selector and decla uh, declaration of a block. CSS can be internal or external uh, and thank you this is all from my side.